Okay, guys, we are back for part three. So um, we just finished, if you guys have not watched part two, we just finished um, wrapping up a um, that jealous sister energy, the sister that was um, trying to sabotage and uh, manipulate the divine masculine um, to get, um, manipulate the divine feminine to get her out of the picture. Okay. And uh, he's just seen a truth about this sister is very dishonest here and just very envious and insecure. And uh, this, that masculine was going to go ahead and communicate to that sister and put a death to that situation, set boundaries, whatever he needs to do. Anyways, we are going to continue on here. So we have next, we have what goes around comes around. Excuse me. Goes around, comes around. Okay. Show us what goes around, comes around. Okay. Karma time. Okay, they got this Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces. This is the hanged man surrendering to the divine. Just letting um, anybody that uh, thinks they're going to control things, thinks they're going to be God. Okay, um, Spirit High Honor wants you to know that um, if you're a karmic partner watching this, karma is your master. Okay, <laughs> at this point, you look really silly. Just give up. You need to surrender. I see this divine masculine is surrendering. Divine feminine is also surrendering and just giving it up to God, giving it up to the divine. Okay, looking at things from a different perspective. Lovers reversed, excuse me. Got a lot of indigestion. Um, if you guys are new and you guys keep hearing me do that. Okay, um, somebody here was trying to, um, just one at all costs, still trying to defeat, still trying to be deceptive, still trying to manipulate, still trying to come in with sneaky communication, okay? putting things in your mind, okay? But what goes around comes around and that's backfiring, okay? Anybody that's trying to be sneaking deceptive still today is gonna backfire like that. Just like that, this is so interesting. Um, anyways, um, I see somebody here, I see a divine masculine surrendering here, looking at this from a totally different perspective, looking at the karmic partner from a whole different perspective. I see tension, I see disharmony, I see a separation, okay, of, between two people, a karmic partner and a, and a divine masculine, okay. This masculine is getting ready to take the leap of faith into the unknown, into his new journey, okay. Yep, because whoever that was, okay, this could be that sister energy too, um, but otherwise, uh, the feminine karmic partner is deeply dissatisfied, deeply unhappy, okay, deeply dissatisfied with them. There's no, um, does not feel any love. Okay, this masculine was trapped in fear. Why? Because he was stuck in the past, romanticizing people from the past. Okay, from childhood. Okay, that could be that sister energy. Romanticizing that sister energy. That's what we just finished off on. Um, but otherwise, it looks like somebody here, karmic feminist, stabbed this masculine in the back. Okay, betrayed him. That's what I see. He feels betrayed because of that. Um, he is going to separate himself. That's what I see. Yeah. Okay trying to block out a um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, feminine energy. Okay, we see a karmic partner here, very jealous, okay? Very jealous here of a uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, female. That could be your divine feminine energy. Your divine feminine, I'm sorry. She's very incredibly jealous here that you're going towards here. Uh, this, um, yeah, starting a new love, stepping into your power, and you're releasing burdens. Whoever that was here, that's um, that karmic feminine energy in your life, somebody in your family, a friend, okay, ex-wife, ex-partner, ex-girlfriend, okay, you're releasing, she's just baggage, you're seeing that masculine, you're acknowledging that, she's just baggage, okay, you know that, okay, she's just a burden on you, so you're releasing her, releasing that baggage, setting boundaries, doing what you need to do, stepping into your power to overcome these obstacles, challenges, okay, with her, okay, you're ready to go towards making progress towards a new love, self-love, okay, setting boundaries, okay, Let me see this Queen of Swords, please. 
Okay, it's just an inevitable end. Okay, you just have to, um, yeah, this is your divine feminine once again. Yeah, this is a soulmate. Look at that. A soulmate, divine masculine, that you've been afraid to go towards, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, you've been afraid to take this leap of faith. You've been afraid to sacrifice because of fear. Um, this could, this is somebody's sister here. Um, somebody's sister. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the sister energy. Then I'm going to do the, the, the ex-wife, the ex-girlfriend. Okay, this is a jealous sister here. Jealous of this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine energy. That's your soulmate. You're trying to have this new love with her and you know you inevitably have to do something about it. It's a dead end here with the sister energy. I'm going to do this one first for you guys. Whoever needs this, show me. Um, um, let me see the sister energy for a divine. How does this divine masculine feel towards the sister energy at the moment? Okay, he feels like she's a distraction. She's a waste of time. She's a bad investment, okay? She's stopping him, stopping you, masculine, from um, investing here into the future, into yourself, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you feel like here, Six of Pentacles reversed. She's all about power, control, domination. She's all about power. She's a power struggle with her. She's causing some type of power struggle between you guys in this dynamic. That's what I'm picking up on, okay? She uh, pa plays power play games for money. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Very materialistic, very narcissistic, very unstable, very grounded, very immature, very about money, all about money, 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 money. Okay, this person, she's playing the sister of yours here. Um, you could have more than one sister, but uh, at the moment, I'm just seeing this one sister. This is for somebody. Um, yeah, she's all about power, control, domination, power play games. Maybe she wants money from you, okay? Yeah, but I see you're getting ready to drop her. You're getting ready to cut her out the picture. Okay, maybe she, you took care of her financially. Maybe you let her borrow money in the past. I don't know. Um, but I see her being released. And I see she's got to adapt to change. And you guys are adapting to change, okay? I see you're bringing this tower here on her. That old foundation you had with your sister energy. Okay, I see you could have let her... Um, she had. She just abused her power. I'm just going to say she abused her power here. And that old foundation of her doing so is coming to an end. It's coming crashing down, okay? She's got... She's... She ain't going to have no more power, okay, over you guys. Because you guys are going down this new journey, okay, during this new path. You're taking action, okay, maybe getting ready to take action towards her. But I feel like whatever you were investing into with this sister has been a bad investment. That's what you're acknowledging. Just get one more card, and then I'm moving on to the um, wife energy. using your with this sister energy masculine you're acknowledging here that you weren't using your discernment you weren't uh using your discernment on the sister okay maybe you romanticized the past with her okay in childhood or whatever um but you weren't using good discernment when it came to the sisterly energy so that's why we have what goes around comes around okay i feel like you are realizing here investing into the sister energy is just giving you bad karma okay um <clears throat> dive deep okay yeah, you're telling her, dive deep. You're ready to do shadow work, okay? You're ready to dive deep here and uh, bring up truths that are deeply hidden, okay? Um, deeply feeling like there needs to be shadow work done and she needs to do shadow work, okay? Dive deep for the sister energy. Yeah, she gossips. The sister of yours, she gossips, gossips a lot. Very gossipy. Likes to gossip and talk a lot of shit. Okay. Um, she, you guys, um, over. I see overindulging socially together. Okay. This could be that same codependent sister that we had from the last reading. Okay. If you guys have, if this is your guys' story and you guys have a codependent sister energy, I would suggest go back to the last video. Go back to the end of the last video. Um, spirit brought in um, that codependent sister. She could very gossipy, likes to talk a lot of shit. Okay, she could um, could um, uh, could do drugs. Okay, could overindulge here in alcohol drinking. Very gossipy though. 
Yeah, she's heavily stressed out. You're heavily stressed out and burdened by her. Okay, she's just making you feel restless mentally. And she's very stressed out. So why is the sister stressed out? Four of Swords reverse. Yeah. I feel like you guys were trauma bonding together. You guys could have had some um, type of childhood experience together in the past. Um, but I feel like she sees you're no longer um, stuck there uh, mentally. And that long-term thinking that you guys, you've had, okay, you're no longer there. I feel like she's still stuck there. That sister is still stuck there. She's still immature. She's still not moving. She's not growing. She's not maturing. That's what I'm seeing. Four, nine of swords. Why is a sister stressed out? Let's get one more card and I'm moving on to the wife energy, girlfriend energy. Yeah, there she is. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, female. Your sister could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. Let's get one more card with her. Sister energy. Masculine, what are you wanting to bring out and say to the sister? What is this here? Why? First of all, why is the sister energy even out? Queen of Cups reverse. Tell us more, please. Spirit. Oh. Okay. Okay, karmic child. She could have children or a child here. Karmic children. Okay, maybe she's using the children as a way to hold on to you. We've seen that earlier too. Okay. This is for somebody, okay? This sister is digging for dirt, okay? If you're a masculine and this is your sister, this is your guys' story, she's digging for dirt right now at the moment. Okay, she says, I'm an alcoholic. Wow. Somebody's sister, what did I say? She she overindulges here in drinking and stuff like that. She's an alcoholic. Somebody's sister's an alcoholic. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. Coming to reconcile with you. I downgrade it. This masculine is coming to reconcile here with this feminine energy. Okay, that's been a challenge to get to, okay? Um, this uh, sister energy of yours, okay, she says, I'm childish. Obviously, we know that. Very childish, very, very childish. You guys go back to the last reading. I want you back. This masculine wants you back, Divine Feminine. Okay, please help me. She's losing her damn mind. Yeah. Whoever sister this is, um... She needs help. She needs to, uh, I'm an alcoholic. She could need to go to AAA or something like that. But she's losing her damn mind. That's what this masculine is saying. Broken pride and ego. And uh, she's talking all kinds of shit. Yeah. That's that three of cups energy I was telling you guys. She's gossiping a lot. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, sister. Heavily gossiping, yeah. Help me, she's losing her damn mind. Okay. Yeah, you've been overthinking. She could be talking about your wife. Maybe this is your wife. She's talking about your wife and child. I don't know. You guys see that wife and child there? Yeah. Okay. And, um, who is. Oh, this just flew out on me. Okay, these all flew out on my lap here. Spirit, what? Is Oh my God, it's just the way spirit brings these messages out sometimes. You see that this person is, <sighs> this person's a foe, this person's a phony here. This is your sister energy right here, masculine, whoever needs this. This is not gonna be for all the masculine, but the codependent sisters, she's very, she's struggling, okay? Because she knows you're getting ready to uh, move on with your life. Spirit says she's a phony, she's a phony. So she's a hidden enemy. Okay, and uh, why is this thought reversed here, masculine? Okay, yeah, group conflict here. Maybe she doesn't get along with the wife, your wife. Okay, what else? Yeah, she's very angry. You're getting very frustrated with her. 
Okay, because she's pushing her own agenda. She's got her own hidden agenda, hidden motive. You're very getting very frustrated, angry, and she's very frustrated, angry, jealous, pissed off. Why is the sister pissed off? Okay, because you're happy. Yeah, she's angry because you're happy and she wants to slow down your progress, okay? Wow, she's trying to challenge her happiness. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's not a that's not real love at all. Not that real love at all. I feel like you've been overthinking here, putting off this conversation with this sister energy is what I see. Okay, let's move on. This childish sister. She's losing her damn mind. Okay, she's digging for dirt. She's probably using I'm gonna see this karmic child. Okay, she's an alcoholic, she says. Okay, you guys need to get her some help then because uh, that's not good. Um, Spirit says that's her public recognition. She's being publicly recognized for that. Okay, that's part of her karma. That's what they're letting me know. What goes around, you guys see that, right? What goes around comes around. So let me see this karmic child here. Why is this karmic child here for the sister energy, please? Okay, you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. Maybe she was using the kids as a way to hold on to you. Okay, but I feel like you're disillusioned and you guys, you're seeing um, these masculines, you guys are seeing the truth. This is for somebody. One more. I'm trying to tell. Okay, there could be tension between you guys at the moment here. Otherwise here, I feel like you are very weak in your mind here. Um, some sort of broken communication here. Tension between you guys. Ten of Cups, you're walking away from that karmic child situation. Maybe, I don't know, nieces, uncles, I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that because this is just general video. Yeah, you're moving forward very fast now towards your Ten of Cups. You've been disillusioned. This person's using the children to hold on to you. Okay, let's move on. Somebody's story with their karmic sister. Please stop texting me. Okay, let's see who this is. Okay, dive deep. Okay, now this masculine is getting ready to use his discernment now. He's using his discernment. Whoever this is, this feels like, a, uh, like an ex-girlfriend. Yeah, he's ready to turn away from this individual. Okay, go towards his miracles towards his miracles, sorry, and using discernment, okay? Get that out of the way. Yeah, this is um, somebody you live with, an uh, ex-girlfriend here, or an ex-wife I'm picking up on here. Please stop texting me, tell me more. Okay, yeah. Okay, you're trying to have faith into the future. You're trying to heal, okay? You're trying to be positive, okay? Optimistic towards the future, towards your dreams, right? Okay, um, this this karmic feminine is trying to um, block that, okay? Trying to keep you negatively focused. Could be saying a lot of negative things, okay? Yeah, she's deeply unsatisfied, uh, deeply and dissatisfied with herself, okay? This person's very unhappy, okay? Very, very unhappy with themselves. This karmic feminine, okay? Keeps texting your phone. She's unhappy because you're healing, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Otherwise, she just, uh, let's see. Yeah, you're restoring control. You're releasing that attachment to that karmic feminine. You're taking matters into your own hands because Hierophant, you're learning the lesson. This is this person's been a spiritual lesson for you, a major life lesson for you, okay? This could be somebody that you are still married to, okay? This person's just texting your phone. Turn away. Yeah, this person's got a very unhealthy attachment to you, very codependent upon you. 
with that devil energy. This person's very low vibrational. You're turning away to do what? To go towards your, your happiness, your ultimate wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Okay, you're using a discernment on this person, texting your phone over and over. This is a comic feminine. Yeah, look, you are uh, coming out of the cold, making improvements in your life and choosing to improve the situation. Whoever this is that keeps texting your phone, okay? You have not been um, honest with this person, okay? You haven't been acknowledging this and taking accountability for whoever that is texting your phone over and over. Okay, yeah, this is somebody here, very controlling, control freak here, trying to manipulate you, okay? Texting you to manipulate you, okay? Trying to hold and cling on to you with that devil energy, but you are ready to heal, okay? You're ready to um, reconcile with this soulmate. You're ready, can, you're ready to um, emotionally balance yourself out, come back into an emotional balance, and go towards your miracles just as you should to be happy. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to be traveling to you soon. spirit okay page of cups reversed okay feeling very shy at the moment to commit somebody's feeling very shy emotionally with their feelings to commit okay somebody's also learned the lesson here a spiritual lesson um, about emotionally immature okay being emotionally immature childish okay Yeah, and uh, this person's been, um, this is a masculine energy, okay, suppressing his feelings, hiding his feelings here, okay, yeah, repressing his feelings, okay, for you, but uh, the truth is here, Divine Feminine here, he's ready to build this legacy here with you, have this family life, okay, definitely ready to invest and build, okay, traveling to you, that could be literally, okay, that could be communication, okay. You guys could live at a distance from each other. He could be traveling to you. Photo proof. Getting evidence. Have evidence. Okay. Oop. Ace of Cups. Okay. Uh, high Priest or Empress Reverse. This is somebody that codependent feminine energy again. Okay, what is she doing here? Spirit, what is she doing here? What is she doing here? These karmas keep popping up. What is she doing here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have an unhealthy attachment. She's unhealthily, she's uh, like obsessed with you. She's obsessed with you here. This person has a very unhealthy attachment, very codependent upon you, smothers you a lot. You do not want to put any type of work anymore into this individual. You have no passion, no motivation to keep working towards that energy. Um, what is this karmic? Tell me about this karmic. One more. What is this photo proof? Okay. You're releasing fears. You're no longer confused. Okay, she probably could have tried to confuse you. Yeah. She's trying to compete. What does she have evidence of? Okay. Okay. Missed opportunity. She tried something here, something like that. Try to get evidence of something. This could be that feminine energy here, that, that sister energy we picked up on, I picked up on, where she's trying to um, dig for dirt, okay? Whatever that was, okay? You made an unnecessary sacrifice here for this karmic feminine that smothers you, okay? You made an unnecessary sacrifice for her, but she's competing here, five of wands. Yeah, and you're heartbroken because of that. She's competing here maybe for your divine feminine, 
Okay, she's heartbroken, you're heartbroken, divine masculine over this energy. You made an unnecessary sacrifice for her. Okay, eight of pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're not, you're just interested in this karmic feminine. You're just interested, you're not interested in her. You're done putting work towards her. Okay, she says she's very controlling, control freak, domineering, bossy, manipulative, and she's uh, insecure, okay, childish, yeah. And you've been disillusioned, you see the truth about that. You're walking away, and you feel very regretful and sorrowful and hurt, disappointed in her, and you're going towards, you're walking away towards what? Your four of wands, towards your twin flame soulmate connection, 1111, with your soulmate, with your twin flame, your divine feminine. This, whoever's karmic that is, she is really trying to find some, she's digging for dirt, trying to find whatever she can to make you look bad, Divine Feminine. It's not going to work, though. I don't truly love this person. Okay, you're releasing fears. Yeah, you don't truly love her. Okay, you were afraid to leave though because you were trapped in fear in your own mind, okay? Yeah, you've been living a lie with this person, okay? Okay, this is a this is her energy here. This is a karmic feminine, maybe somebody you live with. This is the wife energy I'm picking up on. Okay, she lacks progress, okay, very immature. Yeah. Uh tell me you don't truly love this person, Knight of Swords, please. Yeah, she's, you, you're saying she's very childish. Okay, gullible, ignorant, yeah. Full reverse. Yeah. You were afraid to take a leap of faith towards your strength and courage here to move past all this. One more. Yeah, I feel like you were deceiving this wife energy girlfriend this is a wife energy i'm just gonna stick with the wife energy that's what i feel predominantly tell me about this wife energy please okay six of cups she doesn't want you to leave walk out the door if you guys live together okay she sees you you're gonna reconcile with a soulmate or go towards a soulmate okay and she's trying to resist that transition she doesn't want that change to happen Okay, yeah, she's got um, just uh, unrealistic expectations here. Okay, because she could be staying up late at night, stressing out, having nightmares. Overall, she's very anxious and scared, trapped in her mind here. Let's move on. He uses me to make you feel jealous. Okay, Spirit High Honor, tell us more about this energy for this masculine that uses uh, this karmic feminine to make a uh, divine feminine feel jealous. Okay, uh, somebody was in denial about that in the past. Okay, I didn't want to self-reflect, didn't want to face the truth. Okay, very disappointed, there's unrequited love there. And I see somebody walking out the door here. Whatever this person was doing to try to stay living in the past, romanticizing the past, okay? It's been a bad investment, it didn't work, okay? And now they're heartbroken because it backfired. Okay, it's for someone trying to chase me. Okay, Spirit is um, stepped in real quick. Okay, this is somebody here trying to chase you, trying to hold on to cling on to you, possibly for money too. But you are um, trying to become more stable, more grounded, okay? And uh, you are recovering from heartbreak, heartache. You see the truth here. This person is trying to win at all costs, playing mind games, okay? And you're stepping into your inner power and strength, trying to chase me. Yeah, you're just making head over heart decisions. You see shit for what it is. You're just logically cutting to the truth here. You see this person is trying to chase you. Somebody's real desperate. Okay. She is just a liar. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. You're putting the work, hard work, and necessary, uh, the necessary work to move forward. I feel like this person in the recent past caused some sort of challenge, obstacle for you that got in your way that uh, prevented you a delay from moving forward. What does this person lie about, please? What did this person lie about, please? Or what are they lying about at the moment? Okay, this person doesn't want you to walk away. Okay, and this person's a false security, a false foundation here. Okay, somebody, let's see, spirit, truth, clarity here. Let me see this nine of pentacles reverse. What is this? Uh, feminine energy lie about nine pentacles. Okay, she's trying to hold and cling on. Okay, trying to prevent this ending. She sees you're releasing fears. Okay, and uh, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, karmic feminine, trying to hold and cling on to. She could be a Scorpio. Queen of Cups reverse. Okay. Yeah, she could have said something of the fact that somebody was playing you for money or trying to use you for money or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, otherwise, this person here is really just disappointing you. Knight of Cups reverse is unrequited love. It's a false sense of security. This person's, um, even though they're lying here to you or lying about you, whatever, um, you're acknowledging this is a masculine energy. You're acknowledging here, this person, like I keep saying, this person's only motivating you. They think they're trying to deter you from moving forward and putting in the work to move on with your life and advance in your life and mature. Um, but this feminine energy, this feels like a, uh, uh, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But with this death card here, I'm feeling heavy, heavy, heavy Scorpio energy, Scorp Scorpio feminine. She's trying to... Um, play you okay anyways um, she feels your move your your she feels uh, rejected in love okay um, she's only inspiring you to take action towards putting in the work to move forward yeah okay I feel like you didn't learn the lesson here um, with this because you got trapped in fear. This person's confusing you. This person's projecting their own fears and I feel like you didn't quite see that. Let me see one more card. This person's a liar. What is she lying about? Yeah, she's making you afraid of change, afraid of the unknown, making you afraid to take action to move forward. Okay, what is she lying about? Please don't give up. Okay, you guys can see top of the deck. This karmic is trying to manipulate me to alter my true destiny. Yeah, but you're ascending, you see? This is a masculine energy, okay? Okay, other side of this, we have that you're pregnant with a child on the way. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a karmic feminine here trying to... Um, if you're a masculine watching this, this is a karmic feminine in your life. Maybe your wife here. Um, you guys know who your karmic feminines are. Um, anyways, she's trying to alter your destiny, trying to manipulate, okay, at all costs. Does not want you to change, does not want you to end things with her, does not want you to move on, okay? But she's only disappointing you and giving you the, um, motivating you to move on, okay? She's inspiring you to leave her behind. Please give me, please don't give up on me yet. I just need more time, baby. Okay, yeah, because look, you're about to have this reinvention transforming. You're having a spiritual makeover. You're changing. She sees that. Okay, and you're telling your divine feminine, please don't give up on me yet. I just need more time, baby. And once again, be patient. It will come. That's confirmation for a divine feminine. Divine feminine's watching this. You just be patient. There's this person here, okay, manipulating here. Um, but she's just lying here. I feel like she's lying on you, okay? Could be about a pregnancy. Let me see something real quick. That was right there in front of my face. So let me see. What is this car? Why is this pregnant energy here? Have 
somebody's pregnant with a child on the way. Okay, you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Divine Feminine, pregnant with a child. Whoever that was, that karmic partner, she's very unhappy about that. Deeply dissatisfied and miserable about that. Because she sees you moving forward in your life. You could be a Cancer. She sees you moving forward in your life. Okay, very balanced out. It's getting the willpower to move forward to your strength and courage. She's very unhappy about that. You should be happy for somebody here when they... Okay. Moving on, that's for somebody. Fake posting. This karmic loves to post fake shit on social media. Okay. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius temperance. Okay. Somebody stabs you in the back, betrayed you. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Okay, King of Wands reversed. Okay, you're trying to mature, progress. You're learning here. Okay, your pride and e ego is broken. You realize you're being punished here. Spirit High Honor stepping in. You realize you're being punished here for not standing your ground, for not being the leader, for not being overcoming these obstacles and challenges, for letting this person, whoever this karmic is, just letting them control your life for you. This is the lesson here. This is your lesson. You have to stand your ground on this person. That's the whole lesson of this, okay? That's the, this is to be a mature man, okay? This uh, this foundation you're trying to prevent, this old family dynamic, whatever you're trying to prevent, um, uh, you're trying to uphold a lie, okay? You just got to let it crumble, okay? That's what you're learning about, though. You're getting real serious, and you're trying to mature. It's been a learning lesson for you. Okay, I feel like you didn't recognize this before, but this person's stabbing you in the back. Maybe from paste, posting fake shit online, but they're trying to slow you down, okay? Eight of Wands reversed. Yeah, because this person is, um, is this karmic here very negatively focused, okay? Make, trying to make you, um, trying to make you give up, uh, trying to make sure you don't have any faith and hope into the future this karmic partner wants you to remain unhealed okay whatever they posted online maybe trying to compete five of wands okay you just want to reconcile you just you're just tired of that you don't want to keep uh in this mental instability here with this individual okay i'm reflecting with what you said Temperance reversed. Okay, Queen of Swords. Okay, trying to prevent the tower, trying to prevent the truth from coming out. Okay, yeah, there's a learning lesson here. Okay, you just you don't want to fight this anymore. You're tired of going back and forth, trying to uphold this lie, this illusion. Okay, this old foundation here. Um, why is this temperance reversed? Okay, you could have gotten some sort of communication from a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius feminine, your divine feminine, but you're ready to move forward now. Okay, yeah, because you were overindulging socially, could have been gossiping with other people, third parties, um, trying to win at all costs, being sneaky, okay? Yeah, trying to win at all costs, maybe with the third party, your friends, family, whatever. But now you're ready to move forward, okay? Because you were confused by that. Whoever you were indulging in socially, gossiping, talking shit, maybe about your karmic, your divine feminine. Okay, I feel like they've gotten you confused. They got you too negatively focused here. Um, yeah, let's move on. Somebody told you something. Now you're reflecting on what with what they said. I'm going to do about five more minutes here, you guys. And I'm going to close this out and we're going to keep going here. On to part four, I guess. Okay. She's constantly all over me, all in my bubble. I can't even breathe. Okay, yeah, just overindulging, overindulging socially. Okay. It's a third party. Okay, you had a lack of closure. I feel like you still need to close this karmic cycle out. 
Okay, this person could be very childish. Yeah, but this person is definitely controlling, definitely controlling bossy, okay? Control freak, domineering, dictating type of person. Manipulative, very manipulative. You're learning self-love. I feel like you're giving up all hope and faith on this individual. Okay, yeah, you're going towards a, a divine feminine. Okay, making progress towards a divine feminine. Okay, there's been group conflict here. You see that this, uh, whoever you were indulging in, this karmic partner, maybe your wife, okay, constantly all over you. Okay, she's pushing her own agenda, okay? She's causing group conflict here, okay? Uh, maybe overindulging in um, alcohol, okay? Um, you're having compassion, okay? You're growing and maturing emotionally, and you're much so in love with this um, divine feminine energy, okay? And I feel like you haven't been taking accountability, responsibility, been dishonest, whoever this is smothering you. All in your bubble, you can't breathe. Tell me about this justice reverse. Ooh. Yeah, you're moving forward, you're going down a new path, new journey, you're taking the necessary action steps. Here's a separation, divorce here, overall a breakup and disharmony between two individuals. And uh, you are getting the willpower, balancing out your feminine and masculine energies, balancing yourself out so you can move forward and um, have that forward movement. This person is cough blocking right now. Okay, there you are, Divine Masculine Emperor. Okay, you've got enclosure on this individual that's cough blocking you. Okay, you're no longer, no passions, no motivations, okay? You don't want to take any more action towards this person. You're done taking any actions towards that individual. Yeah, no passion, no motivation, not putting any work towards that anymore. Whoever's cock blocking, you're very frustrated, angry, okay? You're ready to cut to the truth, head over heart decisions, making logical decisions to cut to the truth. This is a karmic feminine, in this case, starting drama, creating chaos, conflict, drama here on whoever you're connected to spiritually, to of cups. We got this moon coming up in Gemini. You know, these masculines are gonna start communicating heavily here with their karmic partners and uh, just cut to the fucking truth. Let them fucking know what the fuck is up, okay? Um, show me this karmic partner. Drama. This is a drama queen. Starting drama, okay? Yeah, she's still trying to win at all costs, trying to defeat you, trying to confuse you. I feel like you were confused for a second. This person is trying to cock block, okay? Very jealous, very insecure. You're coming out of the cold, making improvements. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person's heavily negatively focused, trying to keep you in that energy too. Um, negatively, negatively focused, yeah. This foundation where you were insecure and stuff with this person, okay? Um, not having the courage to, to be honest with this person. That's, you're like, this is a false security, you know? Being afraid and fears, you're like, this is a false security with this individual, okay? So that's that. I'm so done. Yeah, we're about to be done with this video too in a second, in about a couple minutes. Let it go to 45 minutes and then I'm gonna close this out. I'm so done. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, you're ready to become financially independent. Overall, you're ready to be single for some of you masculines. This is a masculine energy, so done. Ready to be single, independent, getting your, your money together, financial independence. You've mastered yourself, you're thinking for yourself, you got your own mind, you're ready to think for yourself. Okay. I feel like before you were in denial, um, yeah, you're dropping this karmic partner. No longer juggling, you're releasing this karmic partner. Definitely releasing this karmic partner. I feel like you stayed in, de in denial about this karmic partner because of your own self-esteem, own self-doubt, own self-loathing here, your own fears of love. Okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna stop here, you guys. This is about 45 minutes. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video.